Double A out the studio, the warm, comfy studio out in the rain with me where the real the real <laughs> talk happens. Fresh from there. You've had a few minutes now uh, to dissect that game. Yeah. You're looking at that as what it says on paper, an average 1-0 win, or the importance of the three points there tonight and our game in hand. Absolutely. After Sunday, it's so important that these next two games we get them wins. Got the first one out the back in the bag now. So regardless of the, the performance, I think it was all right first half. Um, second half just dying off I think again just very lethargic didn't really look like we had much idea what to do when we got past the halfway line really but like you say you know that game in hand very important now that we keep the pressure on the teams around us and try and pull away you know it's in our hands we just have to make sure that we're doing enough and showing enough that we're still there you know it's mad to think that we've dragged ourselves into a top four race when we're so far ahead and whether that's too many games players being injured, suspended, or just overall bit tightness and just just not in that rhythm that we were in earlier in the season. But the important thing is to come away tonight. Free. I look sad. I'm not I'm happy that my team has won mate. I'm actually happy. No, no you yeah. do look quite happy mate to be honest. <laughs> do mate. Are, so don't right. put yourself it's down. You, I've seen you again mate, I've not seen you for a while so I feel, I feel happy. Yeah. But no, it, it's good to get the win, and, and I'm happy Manchester United are back to winning. That's it. So. Big shouts at the start of the game. Everyone was looking at the lineup after the Newcastle game. Who was yeah. going to play? Was he going to mix it up? Yeah. He stuck with McTominay to bits of Bruno midfield. He let Sancho have his chance. He dropped Vegost. In terms of that lineup tonight, what was what was, what was the message coming across from Ten Hag for you before it kicked off? I trust these players. Uh, you know, regardless of that result, I trust the players and I trust them. I'm gonna get a tune out of him. I'm gonna go and get. They're gonna go and get the win for me, and that's what he's done all season. Regardless of who he puts in, you know it's because he trusts him to do the job. And you know, I've heard, I've heard shouts about Bruno playing at eight last couple of games, and why is he doing that? He's out of position because the manager trusts him to do the job. And I actually think Bruno was my man of the match. I think tonight, I think yes. he was absolutely fantastic. That first half, especially, brilliant. Wasn't it? It, it was absolutely brilliant, and it was non-stop. And you know, one thing I love about Bruno is he doesn't let any of it in, and he, he looks, he trusts himself, he believes himself. He knows he's got the trust of his teammates, he knows he's got the trust of his manager and he was a captain tonight for me. I think he was by far by far the best player and I think the first half we looked okay, we looked alright and I think I, I think our biggest opponent tonight was ourselves, not 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 Brentford. Because Brentford did turn up. What we've seen them this season, you know, Tony, all, all these all these great players they've had and, and the form they've been in, they look they looked like they just wanted to sit back and just get out of there at a point. We, we used to see this all the time at Old Trafford. Soak up and if we get anything. We, we come away with it. Not the team we saw down at their, their, their place, where they absolutely ripped us apart for 90 minutes. It was nothing like that. And we we showed a little bit of impetus in the first half. We probably should have been two or three up, I think. I think we had some okay chances. Yeah. Second half, again, I think it was the case of we just wanted to get the points and get out of there and not all, overdo ourselves because we've got Everton, which will be another tough game. You know, Sean, Sean Dice, teams are always tough to play against. But in, in the main, you know, you, you have to just look at whoever plays, you have to back them, whether I like them or not, and that's just how it is. They put that shirt on and we want them to win, and they did that tonight, thank God. That's it, another clean sheet here at Old Trafford. Best home defence in the Premier League. That defence tonight against the likes of Tony, who's having another amazing season for Brentford. You mentioned it there, how dangerous they are. Good results against Arsenal City, yep. away from home look like a real threat and we just put that team who were just behind us because it went the wrong way tonight it's a six pointer they're closing right in on us and the pressure is then building on the top four fight we've just used that game in hand nullified a big threat in Brentford and made a step forward have we not really? No I think, I think we have I think you know we have to remember that we're so lucky to have the centre backs that we have because they just, they just don't get flapped over anything because the calmest people in Old Trafford at every single moment you never see them worried, you never see them scrambling. They're in control the whole time and I think they they breed the confidence for every other, every other player on that pitch to go and do what they need to do to win games. We've made Old Trafford a fortress again, you know. We talk about last season, it, we were terrible at home and then, you know, under Oli, again, it was terrible at home, great away. Maybe it was because of no fans, but I think the fans this season are backing this team so much and we, we believe in the manager and we believe in what he can do for us. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. And you're okay. You're not getting cold <laughs> right. um, Yeah, I, I just think we just look comfortable. In, I, don't, I don't remember them really causing us too many too many problems. A couple of half half chances, pot shots, second half especially. 
but I'm just, I'm just comfortable knowing that, that when them two are playing, really. It's just it's just a bit further up in the field that, that I worry about, really. Future to come, mate. Cheers for talking to us, Double A. Go and get dry, mate. Take it easy. Cheers.